get you Metropolis I relish all the moments that can't catch up Back when I was young, you always told me to clean my mess up I fess up, even in the dark, you all my shining light You rather a female to play me left than to leave me dead, right? I appreciate all the little things that you do, that you do You a bag lady like Erica Badu, Erica Badu If we kicking it, I'm like Ken, and she right you, and she right you Every problem is divided by you, you by you I appreciate all the little things that you do, that you do You a bag lady like Erica Badu, Erica Badu If we kicking it, I'm like Ken, and she right you, and she right you Every problem is divided by you, you by you Hello everyone, it's me, Demetra K. How are you today? Um, we are here on all the uh, podcasts. We have Spotify, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, anything else? YouTube, Facebook. YouTube, Facebook, Pod, of course, we're on uh, Facebook. Bean, Pod Beancast. Pod Beancast, that's a new one on yeah. me. Mm -hmm. So essentially we are almost everywhere. We're trying to go farther. Um, I like to say thank you to Donovan, who has actually upgraded his studio. We moving on <laughs> Well, up. I didn't upgrade it. I just uh, made a little annex so we can come Well, he just used it. one of his many rooms in the... Um, in the mansion. In the uh, <laughs> Le Duke of Edgemont. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> at the ranch. Yeah, at, yeah, there you go. At the ranch. Not the bunny ranch, but... <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so yeah, so I thank you to Don for making all this happen. As you guys can see, there's a green screen behind me. Um, so eventually it is going to go on YouTube, which... We're doing um, rather well, I would say. Yes. Now, you know, we only don't have a whole lot of subscribers. Only in China. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the way in China. In China. I thought you said only in China. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> we're doing good. I mean. Yes, and so um, uh, so we're, we're actually starting to pick up a little uh, steam on Facebook. Uh, you, your channel and my channel. Yeah, so anyway. Absolutely. Also, thank you to uh, Marcus Guyton. Marcus. Who also um, helps to spread the message so to go further and more people will hear Um not just what we have to say, but the discussion at hand. Also, like to say the purpose of the Demetra K show is to promote black love, knowledge, and unity of all the things that go on in the black community to make us an even better people. And I like to emphasize even better to um, just kind of catapult us from where we're at. And we all know where we're at, so we won't get into that at this <laughs> moment. But I don't want to say um, make us better and, and that we are horrible. I don't think we're horrible. Exactly. And so anyway, I'm going to give everybody an opportunity uh, to get on uh, before I get into my, um, what we call a monologue yes. that Donovan always gives me the side eye, like, <clears throat> can you wrap it up? <laughs> it's a lot of information. I mean, you know. Well, I mean, people need, I, I want to give people, you know, some information of um, what I'm going to say and, uh, to you guys on Facebook. Um, also, a big thank you. I'm going to get to every last one of you guys' comments, I Today. promise yes. you. Yes. And so I'll go ahead and... Get started. Okay. So what I have here is this. What happens when we don't stay on code? Okay. So a lot of people probably like, well, what, what is she talking about? Yeah, All right. right. So I'll get into it. So what does it mean when um, I say stay on code? Staying on code means to think, talk, and act as a unit. It means that we have each other's back at all costs. It means that we do not go against the collective, especially for the benefit of white supremacy. With that being said, there are a few politicians that are running for presidency of the United States who claim to have the interest of black people at heart. Well, what do I mean by that? Just recently, uh, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax of Virginia has been accused of sexually assaulting two women when they were in college about 20 years ago. One was 20 years ago, one was 16 years ago, right. okay? All right. All right. Now, mind you, there was never any mention of it up until a few days ago. Um, no criminal charges. No criminal charges or any of that kind of stuff. Okay. Now, one accused him of forcing oral sex on her, and the other <gasps> one flat out accused him of rape. Like, he took it, is what she said, mm -hmm. for lack of better words. Now, people are insisting that he resign. Now, uh, but before I continue, let me shed a little light on the history of why Lieutenant Governor Fairfax is even in the spotlight. All right. A few weeks ago, it was discovered that the uh, governor, Ralph Northam, uh, Virginia, was caught wearing blackface in a college yearbook photo in 1984. So you guys have saw over the last couple of weeks, the uh, governor, of Virginia, he came out and said, you know, 
uh, somebody somebody released a photo saying it was him in blackface, and he said and it wasn't him. At first, he admitted it it was right. him, and then he changed. And his so story. I'll get into that right now. So after a photo went public, people were asking him to resign due to participating in the racist act. After the photo, I'm sorry, uh, where did I go? Uh, I got ahead of myself. Okay, so while Northam admitted that once upon a time he did go to a Halloween party dressed as Michael Jackson in blackface, he insisted that the man in the release photo was not him, okay? Now, even with that admission, he refused to resign. Now, check this out. If the current governor of Virginia, who is white, is forced to resign, the next in line to become governor is a black man by the name of... Lieutenant Governor Fairfax, the, the wow. man in question about, you know, now all these rape allegations have come out. Okay. What a coincidence. Right. Now, even with the very suspicious information that I just gave, people are saying that the women who have accused Lieutenant Governor Fairfax of rape are credible. This is what they're saying. And I say, how? Well, that brings us to Senators Kamala Harris and Cory Booker. Now, of course, there are plenty of other politicians. Um, who are calling for the impeachment, because some are calling for him to be impeached, um, or Fairfax. But for the sake of the culture, we are highlighting those two in particular. All right. Now, Senator Kamala Harris is leading the charge on calling for him to step down. What a surprise. Right. In fact, she was the first Democratic leader and presidential candidate to take a public stand on the matter. She said, in quotes, the allegation by Dr. Vanessa Tyson and Meredith Watson are corroborated painful stories of sexual assault and rape. She tweeted, it is clear Virginia Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax should resign his office. Now, that was from uh, presidential candidate Kamala Harris. All right. Now, Senator Cory Booker said, the multiple detailed allegations against Lieutenant Governor of Virginia are deeply troubling. They are serious, credible, corroborated by others. You kind of sound like him. Oh, do I? Oh. <laughs> uh, it's no longer appropriate for him to serve. He should resign. Now, mind you, this is Cory Booker saying these things. Now, just to add a little bit uh, of in there, uh, wasn't Cory Booker accused of some sexual stuff not too long ago? Uh, I'm not sure. I read that he was, but I didn't get all the remember, details. He's never been married, and he says he's a straight man. Uh, okay. Now, I see you went there. Well, I'm just putting it up there. That's what he says. Anyway. Okay, so back to staying on code. <laughs> I should also make this, this disclaimer for people who might want to come on here and argue past the post of my commentary. I, in no way, shape, or form, am excusing sexual violence at all. Nor am I saying that staying on code should equate to excusing sexual violence. So I hope we're all clear because somebody is going to say, well, you know, staying on code is different than sexual violence. Yes. Okay. So we agree. I'm not saying that they are synonymous, all right? So, I digress. So, we have two candidates who profess and elude to, and I say elude to because there's been all this talk about uh, Senator, Senator Kamala Harris not even being black, and from some of the stuff I saw, well, she's, she's not. not. She's but not. we'll get into that later, I promise you. We'll get into that later. Okay, so they have done a lot in the last couple of weeks to make sure that black people will vote for them, including and not limiting to... Dancing at Cardi B, professing to love a tribe called Quest, <laughs> announcing their candidacy on MLK Day while at Howard University, having a marching band playing the soundtrack of the campaign commercial, and going on a Tom Joyner morning show to formally announce that they will be running. Okay? Now, as lawyers, okay? Now, remind you, these two people, Kamala Harris and Cory Booker, are lawyers, okay? As lawyers... They should both know the dynamics of due process or proven an innocent to proven guilty. You would think, right? Okay, now, they should both know that black people are dis disproportionately affected by the injustice system in America. But somehow they are going full speed ahead with the public lynching of a black man that has only been accused with no evidence. Like, there's no evidence. Yes, Dwight, this is live. We, is we live? We live. We are live. Okay, so there's no evidence. All right. In fact, the Washington Post passed on the story regarding the oral sex accusation because they said there was no corroborating evidence. They said there's nothing here to back up what you're saying. All right. So if they cannot stay on cold for the benefit of black people, why should they have our votes? Why should we put them in office? If they cannot stay on cold now, surely they will not stay on cold in the White House. 
Lastly, one of the reasons that they do not stay on code is because we as a collective struggle with doing so ourselves. Okay, and we're going to get into that too a little bit later. Uh, Michael Jackson and Bill Cosby are just uh, two of the most recent greats in our community that have been, that we have allowed white supremacy to take down. As you guys um, now recall, they are trying to um, finish the legacy, I guess you will, of Michael Jackson by producing this uh, documentary that is uh, accusing him of um, sexual molesting these two guys, one of them of which who um, took it to court twice and lost. And so now he's getting some get back or some revenge or whatever by having this documentary come out to continue demonizing the legacy of Michael Jackson for all of you guys know who is now deceased, okay? All right, and so let's see, where did I go? All right, and so instead of us rallying behind them in support, we either just watch it go down or we jump on the bandwagon to help take them down. Hell, more people are more mad at Gucci than they are at the calculated pub, uh, public lynching of a black man. Mm -hmm. Let that sink in. Overall, people like Kamala Harris and Cory Booker think that we ain't going to bust a grape and we'll still vote for them because traditionally that's what we have done as black people. We um, have allowed different people to uh, do us dirty and we still give them our votes. Mm -hmm. The different people in specifically, let's say, um, the Democratic Party. Now, I'm not saying the Republicans don't do us dirty, but we have been um, loyal to a fault to the Democratic Party, and they have not given us or shown us anything um, in good faith. That's why we should. We give you the Voting Rights Act in '65. What you niggas want? <laughs> was that the John, John Lewis? Hood. Okay. <laughs> Haven't done nothing since, but that's what we did. Right. But the tides are changing. We are waking up. We are now asking. These candidates to give us some tangibles. Tangibles. Give Hashtag us, yes, tangibles. tangibles. Tangibles 2020. Tell us what your black agenda is. Right. Specifically. Right. And so I'm going to get to you guys' comments right now. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. I have to go all the way up. And so Tay says, hey, 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 hey. And James, what's happening? Let's see what else we got. Do, do. And you say, wow, first this, uh, first this clown, now Gucci. We're going to talk about that. What the <laughs> F? We're definitely going to talk about Gucci. And Andre says, good afternoon. I'm at work so I can watch until I get busy. All right, well, now. Well, you can watch or you know, plug in your headphones and listen. We're on speaker. Uh, and I'm sure he's doing things. all of that. Uh, <laughs> but thank you. And then let's see. Uh, Dwight, he says, test, yes. yes. We are live. We are and Tay says, isn't it the same state that picked the governor from a fishbowl? <laughs> the whole state is trash, and anyone calling for his removal without um, allowing a proper investigation is trash. Like, yeah. I mean... But an investigation on what? Well, the, these women are saying he sexually assaulted right. them. Right. Years ago, the statute of limitations should have run out by now. There was no crime. Well, you know, they're coming forward now because, you know, they think people should know. But it's like, why didn't you come forward when he was right. running and, to be the governor? At, at, at least, well, no, before that, when the assault happened, at least it's on report. And you can go back and say, hey, this guy did this to me. And and the one that's saying that he raped her, she's saying she doesn't want money. Yeah, she just wants him to resign. Yeah, she just wants him to resign. And to me, that's like... Don't your antennas, like, get the fidget a little bit? Okay, you just want him to resign. Well, well, to me, that's just white supremacy. White supremacy plays both sides. Yeah, but it's like, who are you working for? Right. Who, who sent you? That's what I'm saying. It's, it's white supremacy. <laughs> you know, it's... Uh, yeah, who's, who sent you? You just, all I just want him to do is resign. I don't want nothing else. Just I want him to resign. Hmm. Resign, resign so what can happen? That's the question. Right. You know? And let's see. And Allison, I like the Black Clans lady <laughs> hairstyle. <laughs> you stupid. Right. Uh, for those of you guys who are inquiring about my hairstyle, I'm getting right. it braided uh, in the morning. I have to take it out so I can get it done again. Hey, and, <laughs> hey, and, and, and that's a thick, thick head of hair you got. Yeah. It's Hopefully thick. when the summertime comes, I don't want to... <laughs> right, right. But it's thick. I won't cut it out. Don't worry. Don't worry. You need something to hold on. Uh, <laughs> hey Jonelle, how are you? He says peace to you. Yes, I'm so out of jail. That you're free. You're I free. Got parole for now. And then Dwight says Jennifer Wex Wexton wants him to resign from office. Um, I don't know who that is because the ladies they have different names. But yes, one of them mm -hmm. wants him to resign. I just I don't I don't want nothing else. Just just give it up. Just 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 leave. I mean, like, you don't want him to face no time black, and jail black women, or nothing. I just, I don't understand it. Yes, and they seem to, from, from what I can see, they seem to be sisters. Yeah, black women, I just don't understand it. They hate themselves, and then they, you know, I'm not saying that, I don't know what transpired, but the point is, you're going to come up, come out after all of these years, and now it's a problem. 
I just imagine that a big check was written. That's that's just. Yeah. I'm just gonna what assume else could that it be? somebody got a lot of money. And the other part is these women work at I think um, one is a professor mm -hmm. somewhere, somewhere, and I think another one was a professor too in education. And so it's like. I mean, maybe they weren't I mean, making a lot of money or something. But from like what they're saying, you know, he forced her to have oral sex. Um, I'm not saying that that doesn't happen, but what did he take your mouth and open it up? And you know, that's kind of hard to do, and then force your head, your hand, your head behind. You know what I mean? It's just anyway. Thank you for that. Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you know a lot of people was wondering how do you force somebody to have oral sex on you? Yeah. Which I, I mean, I'm wondering that too because yeah. it's like somebody. I would get off time. Yeah. If somebody was to do that to me, you was going to be missing part of it. Missing part of it? Or, yeah. you know, if you clomp your jaws down, I mean, other than, you know, you being slapped in the face with, you know, with a, a piece of the flesh. What? <laughs> you stupid? <laughs> okay, never mind. I, I'm just trying to, yeah. you know, I'm trying to figure out how... <sighs> well, we're supposed to suspend our disbelief and not ask those questions. You're supposed right. to just take those women on their word. And then she's just going to sit there, okay... It's one thing he's got his hands and he's grabbing your head and doing all this. Like, okay, we're good at that. You couldn't get up with your with your legs and leave and yeah, I I, I don't. <sighs> so many questions. So many questions. So many questions. So many questions. All right, and so Dwight says the doc documentary is a lie. Just evil people are ignoring it. Um, I hope so because I read something where I guess they say they got a standing ovation at the whatever film festival is at. It got a standing ovation. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. What maybe it was good. I have no idea, but. I would say I would impress upon anybody who cares about the legacy of Michael Jackson. Listen, he was at the end of the day, the man was found not guilty. Okay, exactly. not guilty. I impress upon people don't watch it. Mm -hmm. And then Andre says, unfortunately, here I go again, connecting the dots. Forgive me for being consistent, but we have no code because we have no tradition of culture. Our tradition and culture is religion. Oops, is uh, let's see. It's religion. The only family tradition we have is a recipe for grandma's stuffing <laughs> and her mac and cheese. Let's not also forget this culture of gangs. The code is something that we should be taught as babies, mm. but we are taught as babies about God who still hasn't manifested himself. Well, no, that's um, actually good um, analogy, analogy and okay. um, summation of that. Yeah, I, I agree. And, you know, to your point, a lot of people don't know what it, especially in our culture, don't know what it means to be on code. Um, I mean, we see it every day um, when we have, we're selling each other out in public. I mean, hell, you can go on Facebook and watch black men and women fight with each other, calling, saying black men ain't shit, black women ain't shit. I mean, we can see that already. So that right there is not being on code. Right. Uh, speaking of which, uh, there's a uh, political analyst on CNN. Her name is Simone. Oh God, Sanders. Simone, Simone, Simone Sanders. Sanders. Yeah. And of course, the sister's got you know got her hair short. She looks cute and everything. Um, she told Uncle Luke his unsolicited opinion was not wanted in the conversation. Yeah, it's like, well, who she, are you? Said, but, and then she went on to say that black men are always speaking um, when they're not um, when they should be quiet, for lack of better words. That's what uh, Simone Sanders, the commentator on CNN, said about black men. And then to your point, as um, a God. Yes, um, God in the flesh, I guess, if you will, depending on who you speak to, has not manifested him or herself. Um, but yes, uh, religion, I mean, let's just keep it real, has um, hindered black people tremendously. Tremendously. Black people, we are the um, the most religious of, out of everybody. We cling on to something that we have no solid proof of. I mean, and, and let's just break it down to Christianity. We have no proof of any of that. Um, but yet we cling on to it. And, you know, goddamn anybody else who tells you Almost anything different. Almost 100% different. of black people that are incarcerated are Christians and claim to believe in God. You know what I mean? Right. And then they say um, more people murder in the name of God than they do okay. um, doing <laughs> good things or right. whatever. Or the name, not the name of Christian uh, Christianity, I guess, yeah. if you will. Uh, All right, tomorrow. and so Dwight says, Virginia is a great state. He will win. Um, not their terror, not their statutory in still in, is still in. Due process will be his defense. Are oh, you saying he will win, okay? Right, but due process of what? There is no crime. <laughs> there hasn't been a crime. How do you prosecute something that has not gone through the ju judicial system? Well, that because that's just how it's been working, you know. Like somebody brought up Al Franken, mm -hmm. um, who was a, a Democrat, and if I was Al Franken, I would have never resigned. Yeah, but he did, you know. Um, he a lot of people he was did. A comedian. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people just resigned. Yeah, he didn't even really. 
and he said something crazy. No, no, in the or picture where he was oh, like that. Yeah, something, so, yeah. yeah. But, so I think the pressure is on him to resign because everybody do else it. has done it, yeah, you know. Do it. But to me, obviously, it's like, come on. I wouldn't do it. And then you say, your hair is great, the bush is fabulous. Well, thank mm -hmm. you, thank mm -hmm. you. Wait, wait, never mind. I'm trying to grow it as big as possible. It was, I, so we're going to see. I was analyzing the statement. Yes. And Jeff, <laughs> Jeff Bezos. Okay, well, don't forget to bring him up. We could talk about Jeff Bezos, okay, Jeff Bezos. Um, in just a, a little bit. Because uh, um, for those of you guys who don't know, Jeff Bezos. Black man. Um, and not only does he own uh, Amazon, he owns the Washington Post. And a lot of other businesses. And so when I thought about that, I said, okay, the Washington Post doesn't want to publish the, um, the story Maybe because Jeff is like, well, that's what they're trying to do to me. Mm -hmm. You know, they've been inquiring, trying to uh, publish a story about me being sexually whatever with my mistress. And so maybe he was like, no, well, know, I'm not going to help do that to another man. You know, but the funny maybe. thing is, uh, moving forward where we're at now, a lot of people, when they get caught in some bad stuff, just like Kevin Hart. Now, I, I, I'll go ahead and admit it. You know, you, you can, blackmail ain't working anymore for right, a lot of people. Right, he was on video. Yeah, yeah. But, but, I'm, but, but still, <laughs> I mean, you know, rather than be blackmailed like Charlie Sheen. Oh, I, I'd rather just say I'm, I'm HIV right. positive. People ain't falling for that stuff right. anymore. They're not doing it. And Jonelle says, speak, sprinkle some rape on him. Make um, uh, apology for blackface and we um, in, in strategy, same game. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it's like people aren't even talking about the blackface anymore. Exactly. He's probably like, yes, Whew. it worked. It worked. You know, <laughs> It worked. We got these people, mm -hmm. you know, following another story, which, because you, you kind of think about it. Which is worse? And, I mean, I know that I'm sure there's an answer to it, but which is worse? Racism or rape? So that's really the question I think people have to deal with now. What's worse? Racism worse. or rape? I heard that. And so, uh, let's see. Uh, Tay says, your hair looks good. Just uh, I just cut mine off. It's so liberating to cut your hair sometimes. It is, it is. Especially, <laughs> especially if, if your your face is shaped where you can rock. Because not everybody can rock short hair. They, you know, some people... Just, some people don't have a choice. Yeah, some people don't have a choice. And the white, you say, that does not happen. Donovan, stop it, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I think you saw about your analogy, I think. Uh, yeah. And he also said, Michael Jackson was great and just went off the bridge. He was raised as a Jehovah Witness abusive mm -hmm. father. Uh, well, yeah, well I mean, you know, I hate when people say abusive father. Back in those days, all of our parents would be technically locked up for abuse. Well, you know? I think the question is, was Joe a little over the top? Yeah, he probably was. was. You know, but what parent back in those days wasn't? Yeah, you know? but he, like he said, she had, they you're, got rich. Yeah, you're a millionaire. I don't think none of them are complaining about the yeah. money he got from mm -hmm. him being, you know, over a the top. A taskmaster. Right. right. And then uh, Dwight says, she's in trouble. Who's in trouble? And uh, he say, uh, uh, Al he says uh, Robert Townsend directed the third and fourth episodes of the American Soul movie, and he touched on black killings and politics. Um, Don Cornelius experienced while doing Soul Train. So you're talking about yeah. the new movie that uh, on BET, which I've heard a lot about. Um, Al's been watching; says it's really good. Yeah. Uh, real, real quick. Uh, I know. Uh, I just I'm gonna have the question for you. Okay. Actually. There's a new American Football League that just started uh, yesterday. Are we still are we boycotting that that league? I don't know anything about that American okay. that league that's, at all. Only one I know about is the um, one yeah. that a couple of black um, uh, NFL uh, ex NFL players have started. It's called the uh, Freedom. Okay, that, 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 something that, league. Yeah, the, 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 this league was on CBS yesterday. I kind of no, uh, but this one the the black one that's it's going to start. I think in March they're going to start playing, and there's like eight teams. Okay, are we going to boycott that one too? The black one? Yeah. No. Okay. So why? We, so what, what about this new what, this new league? I have no. It's I called have, the Alliance League. I have no knowledge of it at all. Okay, but yeah. But in your question, should should we be boycotting that one too? If, I, I don't know. Okay. Because I don't know anything about it. Right. So, um, but good question. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the white says God is not the issue. It is reparation slavery ended and went straight to poverty, segregation, and Jim Crow. Uh, I fellow Hebrew Israelites. So are you a, are you saying you're a, you're a um, Israelite? Is that what you're saying? And Jonelle says this nation has been he, uh, hanging us to look moral for a long time to justify their evils. It it's a clear setup. It's slander before slaughter. Absolutely. You know what? We fall for it all the time. All the time. We fall for it all the time. I, like I see a lot of people jumping on it, like, "Oh, he needs to resign." Well, those why? people, why would those women lie? And I'm like, 
I mean, damn. Is, is that all it takes just to accuse somebody of rape and I then mean, you, we I, just believe it? I mean, if, if we have to go by, back by that, there would be a whole lot of people out of work right now for uh, youth, youthful indiscretions that are interpreted today yeah, at a I different mean, I'm sure there's a lot of other reasons, uh, times they could have come out and said that he did this to them, but he did. they didn't do that right. until now. So it's like... Uh, yeah, when he ran for lieutenant governor. I'm going to say this, not us, but people in general, we're just stupid. We're just stupid, Sheeple. and they know we're stupid Sheeple. because they could just throw any old thing out there. We just, well, yeah, you know, he's saying you're just a cooperating. What's cooperating? Two women mm -hmm. got together and said that he raped them with no absolute, no evidence. So that's mm -hmm. credible. Right. Talking about I believe women. Yeah, you should believe women. But then what happens to those other women who are truly raped? And then now people start to get skeptical, skeptical because you have women like this coming out. Right now, and, and, and this also goes back for those of you guys that don't live in California about what a lot of us in California has said about Kamala Harris. She gets excited when it comes to prosecuting poor uh, people and black men. She gets excited. She wants us up out of there. Right. And now says, let your audience know what we discussed about the low rankings of the Wiz uh, of black movies. Well, earlier, mm -hmm. just real quick, we were uh, talking about the Wiz and how it was a good movie and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it actually... Um, did terribly at the box yeah, office. It, is. It, it, is. it cost twenty six million dollars and it only made about ten. Uh, opposed to uh, during kind of around that time, a little before the black exploitation movies that did exceptionally well. Mm -hmm. And so even before Al pulled up the information, I was like, well, you know, they being Hollywood gave us those images of the right. black exploitation, and so that's what we liked. And so you mm -hmm. have Quincy Jones who came forth with this elegant, you know, portrayal of black people. <laughs> we didn't go see that. Right. And then, the, you know, before it was a, a movie, Stephanie Mills was mm -hmm. Dorothy in the play, for right. the list, which was really uh, astronomical. And another conspiracy theory is uh, Motown getting into the movie business right. was a, a threatening thing in oh, Hollywood. Absolutely. And they wanted to make sure that it tanked. Right. Mm -hmm. Which is now a classic. Right. And uh, Dwight says, Donovan, they will have an um, impeachment and Justin Fairfax should not resign until they prove the allegations. Yes, absolutely. You are absolutely right about that. I, I agree with that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, Andre, he says, uh, says, can you explain to us what the code is? Maybe some don't know. I just learned about it a few years ago. Well, specifically speaking, there's a code by Nilly Fuller Jr. He has, I guess, defined racism and white supremacy. Now, He's come up with a bunch of codes. A few of them just off the top of my head is, um, you know, don't snitch uh, on another black person in, re in, in regards to help white supremacy. Don't lie. Don't steal. Don't cheat. Just like the low hanging stuff that we should know. Don't especially don't do those things to each other and basically to have each other's back at all times. So that's really the code is that we don't we don't go against the family. What's the family? Black people. We are the family. Just like you uh, in your own family. They, they have a saying. What happens in this house? stays in this house. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't go out there speaking against the family or doing anything adversary to, against the family, but that is something I think um, overall uh, uh, black people, we don't really know. Right. But to me, those things should be innate. Like, we should know those things without even having to think about it, but uh, from my understanding, that's what the codes are. Yeah, you know, and I, I don't disagree with you on that code. Unfortunately, though, I am not... The, the definition of snitch is me and you do a crime, and then I tell on you. But if I see you out there robbing my house and we have no, you know, no affiliation, I'm telling. Well, I think this is in regards to what's called manu Taurus manu mission. Sure, sure. Where, um, and right. one of those things is if I snitch on you um, to a white person, and back in the day was, uh, as Dr. Claude Anderson explains it, um, to Massa in order to get you in trouble and to gain yeah, favor. No. Yeah, I don't want to And do so that. Um, we do that a lot to each other without mm -hmm. even knowing we're doing it. For instance, you have Kamala and Corey who are, you know, for lack of better words, um, Cooney. or that, but they're, they're trying to drag down this black man without any evidence, evidence. at all. So why they even need to be doing this? And these are lawyers; they're supposed to know the law better than you and I, but they but are not pandering. That. But they're pandering for votes, right? And Dwight says, "Black faces all over mainstream media." Ralph Northam will be on CBS Morning interview by Gail King. Really? Wow. Okay. It's like seriously. I'm check that out. I'm check that out. And then uh, 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 Al says, "Elena and Alicia said that is is that Demetra or Delilah from the Dead President's movie? You know what? Yeah, Somebody Delilah, else has yeah. said that." <laughs> Yeah, that's one of my favorite movies, Dead Presidents. Yes, I, I've heard that before. Chris Tucker. A sister girl, I've heard yeah. that too. Chris Tucker played the hell out of his role. Right, um, but we are going to talk about the whole blackface thing too, so just bear with me here. 
And then Dwight says, Donovan, you are younger than the Michael Jackson and was not raised like you by good people. <laughs> Simone Sanders is in trouble for making those comments. No boycott of uh, no new football league. No boycott. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, well, Donovan is not like a spring chicken. Yeah, I'm not here. a spring chicken, believe it or not. <laughs> believe it or not. But, um, yeah, I mean, in regards to Simone Sanders, I mean, she's, you know, not to make excuses for her, but she's fairly young. I think she's well, 29. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's 29, and, and, and basically she figures... Her attitude is, I got a degree, so I know what I'm talking about. No, you're up there to be cooning because she argues with everybody. She falls under that loud black woman, can't tell you nothing. Well, evidently she's learned that it is her job to usurp yes. black men, and mm -hmm. even to the point of telling you guys to shut, shut up, up right. and don't speak when you're not spoken to. Mm -hmm. That, I mean, it's like, who was raising this girl? That's not mm -hmm. how you speak to men. Exactly. You know, and then you're doing it on national television, television to the world to see you as a black woman and uh, reverence black men like that. And then no wonder why, you know, black men in society have a hard time getting respect because they see a black woman doing it mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, let's see, Jonelle says, God gave us all we need when he uh, placed his supreme being within us. It's our colonizers who taught us about a sky God till the point we can't even wipe our butts without mm, Jesus. Preach. Well, yes. I mean, and as I always say, um, Reverend Ike, if you guys um, know who he is, uh, was rather, he was this big time uh, televangelist, if you will, uh, in the 1960s and 70s, um, and partially the 80s, who said, oh, how do you believe in a God in the sky? You don't even believe in yourself. You ain't never seen God. But you don't believe in yourself. You believe mm -hmm. some man is going to come out the sky and impart all this stuff on you. But yeah, you don't even have a faith in you going out and getting stuff on your own. Hmm. And so, good point. And let's see, Al says, you would never hear a man complaining of a woman rape him. Well, I mean, I've actually heard of men complaining about being raped by a woman. I did go to a fat girl party and they were trying to get with me. And I was just like, no, I, you know, it's hard to, you know, to knock that advance out. Them girls are pretty strong. What was you doing at a fat girl party? Trying to make some extra money when I was in college. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yes. Um, they like skinny dudes. I don't know what it is. But I don't know if Al was being funny or not, but men can be raped too. Uh, I'd like to test that theory. <sighs> with a female. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With a female. <laughs> Yeah, you With might want to clarify. Yeah, I got to clarify. Female. Say it again for the people in the back. Yes, female. Okay. The okay. wife says, Wiz was awful. What? Because of Diana Ross took the role from Stephanie Miller, yeah. we have Sounder, Learning Tree, and Shaft. Well, now, see, I think you and Al are um, in cahoots because he said the same thing. He... Cannot stand Stephanie Mills Rose. or Dinah uh, Dinah Ross. Well, um, you know, I, I saw uh, if you go on YouTube. I think you could uh, you could put it up. Uh, you could actually see clips of Stephanie Mills in the role, and Stephanie Mills was like young right. when she was in that role, so she wasn't like a fifty year old Dinah Ross when she was in the role. Right. So you got to look at the context of it. And the wife says the guy about cold should get a Nobel Peace Prize. He is awesome. No, uh, Nobel. Uh, Neely Fuller, Neely Fuller Jr who was also the mentor of Francis Cress Welsing. He was her mentor. So, um, and Dwight says he is talking about unity and protection. Absolutely. And then uh, you also say Simone Sanders is an educated girl from Nebraska and is a diehard feminist. She's in trouble. Oh, okay, so is that what it is? I mean, I mm -hmm. kind of figured that she was a feminist just kind of from her stance. Yeah, her stance. Of, um, and because I've seen her a couple times yeah. too kind of get like, and, and, I mean, I understand why she was mad on this. was some... Um, I don't know who he was. White man told her to shut up. Yeah, that was uh, um, the governor's. Yeah, uh, dean. No, 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 it wasn't, wasn't dean. Somebody it, else. It was. Uh, I know you're talking about. Go ahead. Yeah, somebody told her to shut up, and she was it Biden? No, it wasn't okay. Biden. It was okay. was it the old governor of? Uh, that was Howard Dean. He used to be the governor. <sighs> and she that. lost it. Right now, and also uh, to to premise her background, she was the communications director for Bernie Sanders. Yeah, it seems like a lot of Bernie Sanders. Uh, People have People are coming cashed out. in. They cashed in. Right. And Dwight says, um, he says, Wiz was awful with Diana Ross yeah, taking a role from Stephanie Mills. Yeah, it was. Because Diana Ross was significantly older. Well, I mean, I guess that's really just a comparison between yeah. Stephanie Mills and Diana Ross. Yeah. Well, you know, Dorothy's supposed to be a young chick. You know, if you saw, it just didn't. <laughs> I don't think she fit really well for the role, but when you're screwing the, the uh, boss of Motown, you can get away with that stuff. I didn't really mind it. I didn't mind it. I, I liked them both. Look, listen to the rendition of Home and tell me which one do you like. Oh, well, yeah, come on. 
Yeah. You like the Stephanie Mills yes. version a and lot. I, Al says, when I was a kid um, and my cousin were standing, when I was a kid and my cousin were standing in front of a corner store and the cops pulled us over and arrested us for suspicion of selling drugs, cops said, I got to read Al stuff before I even <laughs> read it out loud. Oh, man. <laughs> Dwight, it says, yes, men can be, I believe you said raped. Oops. Men can be raped uh, because, one, if the girl from Harvey Weinstein took advantage of a boy, she was blackballed. You're talking about, um, I can't think of her name, but I know mm. who you're talking about. Alleged, well, I don't know if she raped him. Well, he was a, he was a younger than she was, like right. a minor, I think it okay. was. So I think that's what you're talking about. Mm. So statutory. Statutory. Mm -hmm. um, and Al says, you could have played Dorothy in the Wiz because your fro looks much better than Diana Ross. <laughs> Nappy fro. Lord Jesus. Uh, and then you said rape type. Oh, I know what you mean. Cougar women and boys at the bar. Yeah. yeah so that that's in one sure. sense that men can be raped. And Jonelle says, um, we clearly struggling against the modern day Stephanie and Calvin Candy and their tactics cloaked in blackface. House slaves never have their own people's interest at heart, mm. nor do they ever truly. Uh, let's see. Uh, speak for us, no, um, and they and they never will. They 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 never do, and they never will. It's what can I get from right doing now, it? Right. What's in it for me to turn on my own people? And this is the cold and sick part. Like you think about somebody like Kamala Harris and Cory Booker. I'm gonna turn on these people, mm -hmm. and I'm like like Kamala is leading the charge and getting this man to resign. Like, I, cause to me that's turning on your people. And then, but then I guess some people will say she's not really our people. Mm -hmm. But let's just say for the sake of argument, argument, she is pandering to black people. But then she's going to turn around and ask us to vote for her. Mm -hmm. We are watching you pull the string on the rope that's tied around this man's neck. And have been doing it for years. Yes, but, now, but in, in the cold, other cold part to that is to... Like, now we know about your record. It's out and open to everybody. And you're continuing on the same path of harming black people. And, and let me ask you this question. Now that you're talking about Kamala, do you think that because she has that record and, you know, she's going to be hard on black people and just, you know, keep continuing the, the process, that's why they're backing her so hard? Who is they? White supremacy. Oh, well, the system, you know what I mean? The Democratic Party. Why are they so hard to push this candidate and, and tell us that this is our candidate? You can't say nothing negative to her on Twitter or on social media. They're calling us bots. Joy Reid, who isn't a DOS uh, descendant. She's not? No, she's from the islands. Oh, okay. She's a descendant from the islands. Got it. You know, you got these people out there talking about, oh, how could this... No, it's got to be bots because everybody's out there exposing these candidates. Also, they're saying that we're bots. Yeah. Okay, so do you guys All the because stuff you, that's on you, you don't social like media? Mm -hmm. what Kamala is uh, doing, or you don't like her record, you're a or bot. you're exposing her. Right? You're not real. This right. it's fake. So they're dismissive. To that other point, though, if I have to like summarize what you said, mm -hmm. y'all niggas ain't got no real um, intellect. Y'all cannot possibly put two and two together to say. Kamala is not the candidate for black people. You got to be some robots doing this because black exactly. people ain't smart enough to buck the system. Yes. And maybe that's kind of a, an expected thought because up until recently, we haven't, haven't been bucking been. the system. Right, right. But again, um, I, I did a show last night where, we're, where I was talking about that. Isn't it feasible that a black person could make a educated decision for themselves and say, this person does not represent my values, so I'm going to go over here and look for somebody who can? Well, because, again, traditionally, black people have not been bucking the system. We have just been like that Frankenstein, well, okay? Well, well, that, I'm going to vote Democrat. Well, 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 that's because we've been following the John Lewis's and the, the, the child, you know, the, the, that, that generation. Because there wasn't a lot of black candidates in there. Yeah, and, you, and, and you know for yourself, I have relatives that were like, I know her record. And they're still going to vote for her. Right. And, I, and that's why when they say that, you don't know her record. Because if you did, you wouldn't be saying what you're saying, saying right now. Exactly. Yeah. And so let's see. Um, Dwight says, tonight Diana Ross will be showcased on the Grammys yes, tonight for sure. a celebration of Motown. Diana Ross was a girlfriend of the great Barry Gordy. Yes, and I think they, no, have, mistress. A child, they have a child together too. Yeah, mistress. He wasn't a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. He was a mistress. 
Well, she was you know, I don't watch the Grammys or any of that yeah. kind of stuff, but I heard she was going to be on there. Yeah, yeah, they're going to give her some kind of. Mm -hmm. TV. And Alice, I remember watching an episode of All in the Family when Archie was in blackface, and that's another mm -hmm. thing. We're going to go ahead and segue over to the whole blackface Gucci thing. Um, and then Janelle says uh, Kamala slash Hillary Clinton, same, same, same thing, yeah. exactly. And that's they are the same people. In the story, they are the female, same people. Another female yes. running. This will be the third presidential election in a row. Well, outside of the Obama mm -hmm. thing, that they've tried to put a woman, and I'm not saying a woman isn't a you know thing, but you're forcing it to us, right? You know, well, and that formula it keeps failing, right? And let, actually, I'm going to transition to that yeah. other one. Um, so let me know, and so we can start fresh on the other sure. podcast. Sure. Okay, and so yeah, I mean, I just think that's what's been going on. Well, not think I know that's what's been going on, especially you know with black people just giving our votes to people who's like, ah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it. And then when they get to the presidency, it's like, yeah, okay, well, next time, Negroes. <laughs> well, like I said. <laughs> next time, I'll give you what you want. Yeah, eight maybe. Years, eight years of Obama, we didn't get zilch. We got zilch. Right. And let's see. Uh, Dwight says, chronologically, the situation in Virginia, from blackface to the allegation of sexual assault, then there is, uh, then there is another man practice blackface on his YouTube. Kamala Harris is package goods um, and be careful she will not be the nominee no. black people are only 20 percent of the electric electric electorate it will be a white man going against agent orange yeah I, I, I there's i mean stranger things have happened because a lot of people didn't think that trump will win either but i really don't think that uh kamala is going to be the nominee she's and not, she's not going to make it out of the primary they better hope joe biden don't get in there he won't make it out of the primary I, th I think he will. Only reason why I think he will is because he's, and this is just where we go, sure. but he's part of that Obama legacy. And, I, and, you, and I know. It's because of that. Man. Right. But I'm saying, that. but a lot of people are like, oh, you know, can Obama get third, a third term? We need Obama no, back. No. I miss Obama. So no, if don't. he's connected to that, yeah. I think that's why everybody else in the Democratic race will have a hard time. I, um, I have to uh, respectfully disagree with you, people. You better do it respectfully. Yeah, yeah, we didn't get anything from Obama. Uh, um, Elizabeth Warren just announced. Yes. Um, remember, a lot of people don't really know this. Elizabeth Warren was a hardcore Republican up until 1996. Ain't that crazy? Yeah. Uh, what, what, so what about the, what, what caused the flip? Well, she, she, she saw the, the, the disparity uh, wealth and gap. You know, she might have a conscience. There's nothing wrong with Maybe, that. Maybe, yeah. But um, I, I'm going to tell you guys somebody to really look at. Uh, Telsey Go uh, Gabbard, the girl from Hawaii. Yeah, I keep hearing about it. I just haven't yeah. had a chance to do research. I mean, she is, is she really, running? She is, yeah, she's running. She, but she's really an outside type candidate. I mean, she is like outside. Well, we'll check her out. Yeah. Okay. And then so, yeah, but um, I, I think that if we don't get the right person, whoever that is, yeah, Trump is going to be back in office. And you know what? This is the crazy part. Y'all don't crucify me for this. But I've seen a lot of people say, I mean, well, is Trump really that bad for black people? Well, I bet you I'll say, say one better. That's I'm just what, I'm telling y'all what I've heard what, and seen people say. In Trump's time in office, what has he done to black people to have affected our lives? Absolutely nothing so far. That hasn't already been, been done, done to us yet. Right. So far. So right. what's the difference? Right. And now it says uh, Marcel Marceau was in white face uh, doing pantomime and black people in church and white uh, face holy dancing isn't that sending a bad message as well. You're talking about the uh, pantomime where people do the miming in church. Well, mm, that's a little different. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a lot different because yeah. they're not doing it in a racist manner. Mm -hmm. Pantomime is something that's it's, it's a thing. You you know, people, they paint their faces white, I guess, to, to mute out the expression. Right. You know, and, 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 and uh, real, real quick, well, what kills me is, do you guys remember uh, years ago when Whoopi Goldberg was dating? Yes, uh, we were going to, yes. Uh, Ted, 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 Ted Danzig, Danzig. And she didn't have a problem with it. Now all of a sudden, she has yeah, a and that's with... another thing. Don't let Whoopi ass off the hook either, because yeah. she was she was dating Ted Danson, mm -hmm. and he showed up to her roast in blackface, and, and she just she she did not have a problem with it. Yeah, she thought it was she got a lot of kikis and mm -hmm. her eyes out of it, you now, know. So no, nah, don't let Whoopi ass off the hook either. She ain't on code either. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, uh, and Jonelle says, when has black people ever uh, been truly included? I'm um, include beyond the decoration to sell the American dream to keep the black masses in the sunken place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, and Malcolm X talked about that. They'll get some Negro to go up in the White House and then come out and say how great 
The president Steve Harvey. Was, yeah, he, Steve Harvey did it. It's like, dude, you didn't. Do and look, you haven't heard from Steve Harvey since when it comes to Trump. Yeah, he learned his lesson. Yeah, he came he out says. and said, I made a mistake. Yeah, you made a big mistake, mm -hmm. dog. And we turned on you. But so. that's how it goes. And so um, the White says, Donovan, be nice with your adjectives and pronouns. This is on the record. You saw the play with Jennifer Holiday. You're talking about Dream Girls. <laughs> Dream Girls, yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, let's see. The white says no Biden. He is um eighty plus. Yeah, it will be a sweet white governor or senator, not Joe Biden. Yeah, yeah. Well, he and Joe hasn't even announced. I've heard he's yeah, he's done he's thinking done. about it. But I'm, I'm like, man, I'm good. He's done. He's done. And Al says Joe Biden would be a better president than Barack. Yes or no? No. I mean, they were on the same team. Yeah. No. I mean, it was, for what I understand too, it was Joe Biden that um pushed uh forward giving um was it um the Jewish community uh, reparations. So Absolutely. with Joe Biden, he gave the Jewish community reparations for the Holocaust, but didn't give us anything. Nothing. Exactly. So you answer that question. And Joe Biden has run for president multiple times. Right. Uh, he has. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then so, let's see. Dwight says, Donald Trump is not that bad for black people. Exactly. And for those of you guys on the podcast, we are going to be right back. We are going to switch over to a different topic um, concerning Gucci and the whole blackface thing. So come on back. And so... Um, the white says Donald Trump is not that bad for black people because he has not done a thing. Check your taxes. Oh my God, you ain't lying. This year, white little folks refund, are losing their minds. Little refund um, because your money is given throughout the year. But that's the other thing too. You got mm -hmm. it up front. Right. But people are used to getting these big giant uh, income tax returns. Are like, wait a second, you know? <laughs> like, oh my God, it's like okay. You got it throughout the year. Yes. So if you tricked it off, yeah. you tricked it off. Yeah, a certain amount. Right. Let know. me know when you're starting. Okay. I'll, I'll come back on the yeah. other one. And Jornel says, imagine how much Gucci and these companies sold made off the blackface products. You can't have a supply without a demand. The society has never got the racist taste out of their mouth. Racism is the white um, nation religion. Absolutely. Like, how many of those sweaters sold? Mm -hmm. That is really the question because now they have... Mm -hmm. Discontinued. What are you putting on there? The Gucci thing? Yeah. I uh, know. You can put um, Gucci. Okay. Yeah. That way we, uh, it'll start a different mm -hmm. one. Okay. And so then let's see. Um, Al says Robin Williams used to mock black people in his stand up and no one said anything. And um, Nick Cannon actually came out um, with a whole host of people like Jimmy Fallon and a couple other people who have done blackface. And he's like, so why are we silent on those things? Mm -hmm. And then so you let me know when you're ready to go and I'll, I'll start mm -hmm. over. And then, uh, Let's see. And then uh, Dwight says, Joe Biden co uh, cooperates too much with Republicans. He is a gaff monster. Yeah. <laughs> and Jonah says, Trump is not um, going anywhere. He is the perfect suit for the synagogue of Satan. Wow. Mm. Um, I often wonder, is he the Antichrist? <laughs> <laughs> is Trump the Antichrist? Um, some will say no, but I mean, some people will say yes. Ronald Reagan. But anyway, you guys, you guys here on Facebook, we are getting ready to transition over to the next podcast that we're going to be talking about Gucci um, and the whole blackface thing as we've I'll talk about a little bit here um, in just a second. As soon as uh, Donovan, go ahead and give me. Go. All right. So. All right, there you guys. You so we are back for you guys on the podcast. We are now going to be talking about um, blackface and Gucci um, and all things blackface, really, because for some reason, blackface seems to be... Um, very popular. Like trending. Yeah, I mean, I know popular. it's always been here, but like it seems like it just keeps popping up um, from people who have done it in, in the past. And now the pictures and stuff are resurfacing. Um, and speaking of which, we had Gucci. Yes. Do you have any Gucci? None. Are you sure? Draws. Gucci draws? Gucci draws. Are they Gucci or Gucci? <laughs> Gucci. Okay. <that's> <laughs> right. Okay. So speaking of Gucci. You got me. Right. <laughs> I know you got some draws from the Swabby. Okay. <laughs> So anyway, speaking of Gucci, Gucci has come under fire because they um, created a sweater. I don't even know who would wear this, mm -hmm. but it's a sweater. It's a black sweater. It comes up to the mouth like that. And then the mouth is, uh, I think it's, is it white? It's, it's red. I know it has red lips. So anyway, mm -hmm. it has red lips. As people who will wear black face, they have paint their whole face black. And then they paint their, their mouth white or red to um, look like big, like mine, <laughs> like big, giant um, red lips. And so um, it got out that they had the sweater selling for $900, mind you. Yikes. So all hell broke loose. Um, and mainly within the black community saying that we're boycotting. Oh, my gosh, don't buy Gucci. You have T.I. You have, mm -hmm. you know, 
all these celebrities were saying they would never wear Gucci again, boycott Gucci and all this other stuff. And, you know, me being in PR, I questioned this. Public relations, for those of you guys may think I was talking about Puerto Rican. Um, in public relations, I'm mm -hmm. thinking, like, who was in this boardroom? Mm -hmm. and it, let, let's Okay, let's say somehow it got past the design board. Okay. Somebody in the design room said, hey, let's make the sweater look like a black face or whatever. You get into the marketing and the advertising department and the sweater comes before you. Mm -hmm. Nobody, nobody said, hold on a goddamn minute. Nope. Hold on a second now. This sweater is going to cause us some problems because it looked like blackface. Nobody thought that was odd. Mm -mm. Nobody, because in, in, in public relations, we call it um, forecasting. Being able to tell, to see the future by the decisions that you're making now. So nobody was able to forecast and say, all right, this sweater is going to come off kind of bad. The black community is going to, you see what they did with H&M. You saw what they did with Prada and everybody else who did the blackface thing and the monkeys. Okay, so let's not do this. Okay. But the other part of my mind oh says, my well, maybe they don't give a damn. Thank you. Maybe they don't give a damn because how much Gucci is the everyday black person buying anyway? It is. I mean, you got all the money in the world and you own Fuji. I you don't Gucci own right. any Gucci. <laughs> I ain't giving Gucci that kind of money. It's just straight up. I don't care if I had the money. Mm -hmm. I ain't giving them that kind of money. Mm -hmm. and Gucci ain't never did nothing for me right. to give them that kind of money. And so that's where I'm at with it. Like, okay, so either they drop the ball or either they just really don't give a damn. Okay. Now, the other question I have for you guys is this. In regards to Gucci, should we... As black people get in the habit of telling other people what to do with their products, like, why not just don't buy them? You know what I mean? Why, do, like, why are we trying to, I'm boycotting you and you're wrong? Yes, it's all wrong. I'm not saying it's not wrong what Gucci has done, but somebody made a good point. Terrence, he, I don't see him on here. He made, and I'm going to get you guys' comments. He made a good point on my Facebook page yesterday. He said, Gucci has been around, I don't know, since the 1800s or whatever. Mm -hmm. But FUBU came and went. In the 90s, yeah, late 80s, early 90s. FUBU was pr pretty big back then. So how is it that Gucci is Carl still Kanai. standing? Carl Kanai, mm -hmm. Cross, is that Carl Kanai? Mm -hmm. um, all these black companies um, and designers are have fizzled out and some are struggling. But yet you have Gucci and we're, we're more mad that Gucci made a black face sweater than we are mad that we didn't support the other black um, designers. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. should we be in the habit of telling them what to do or should we figure out to go um, where to go to buy black designer stuff? And so, hey, Terrence, I, I, I sent your comment. All right, so let me get back to these comments here. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Okay, so Al says... I'm informing your audience on what the minister did for Teddy Pendergrass in the documentary. Well, there's a, di a, a, a documentary about Teddy Pendergrass on Showtime, for what I understand. And it is said that Farrakhan is actually the one that um, nursed him back to health mentally when Teddy Pendergrass was gonna, wanted to die after um, his accident that left him paralyzed. And so they said that he is the one that was um, it's re it's responsible for him coming to mentally. So I thought that was something awesome to know. And then James says, I'm sorry I asked this question first. Gucci needs to be fir to first apologize by giving up the bag, millions to HBCU, black establishment, and funding for blacks uh, to start up programs. Then you are sorry, but I'm going to push back a little bit. I'm going to ask you this. Why should they do that? And again, I'm not agreeing that blackface is cool because it's not. But why? Because to me, when I hear people are mad at Gucci, I feel like I'm a sign language or something. <laughs> um, I feel like when, when I hear like we as black people are mad at Gucci, it almost reminds me of the whole civil rights thing mm -hmm. and that we were mad. Now, I'm not saying we should have been mad about the treatment that we got, but we are mad because white people didn't want us to eat with them. They didn't want us to live next to them. And instead of, you know... Um, strengthening our community we got mad and then we ended up with civil rights and then we were able to be amongst them but it's like that ultimately hurt us if you think about it trying to force gucci to do right by us it still hurts us because let's say 
they donate all this money and they apologize to us and we still give like okay let's say we're spending nine hundred dollars on a sweater we're giving nine hundred dollars to a community that has never done anything for black people so why do we care what gucci thinks about black people and why i mean like and then why do we care um that they apologize to us i, mm -hmm. I, I to me that's what baffles me so um if you can help me out and Jonelle says they had blackface keychain shoes. TJ Maxx had a t-shirt with a noose on it said, hang loose. Golly. It only shows why our black brands and businesses should be supported by us first. Image, um, imagine us rocking our own brands and ideas like we did for FUBU. Absolutely. Like, why don't we focus more on that opposed to what the Gucci made a blackface sweater? And, you know, I just think, hell, most of us that's complaining about Gucci ain't got no Gucci money. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and then, and where are you going to wear that? To? And, and then remember uh, what really led to the downfall of uh, Carl Kanai and uh, a thing was the fact that Tommy Hilfiger gave big checks to rappers and stuff to endorse their product, yeah. which made everybody. And then, so yeah, so we continuously having these other white designers do all they can to smash down mm -hmm. um, the progress of black designers, and we fall for it, Every and they've time. done nothing. For black people, nothing. Like, okay, Gucci, they issued an apology. Are we better now? Can we good. unsee that? Right. Sweater? I mean, like, what did that really do for us? Mm -hmm. And then James says, it is impossible for that sweater to pass through without backlash. This is all the reason why they did it. Yes, that's where I'm going with it. Like, so Gucci is worth a lot of money. So I'm sure they've paid a lot of people in their advertising department to, you know, to think critically about the product's and the message and the imaging that goes out. So I doubt very seriously that somebody didn't say, yeah, that kind of looks like blackface. But, but, but do you want to also think about this? You're in PR. Mm -hmm. you, they've got people talking about Gucci. Yeah, well, people are talking about Gucci anyway. I mean, hell, Soldier Boy was on the Breakfast Club and he had a Gucci outfit on. People mm -hmm. were talking about So Gucci is not like off the radar. Mm -hmm. I mean, every rapper in their, in, their, in their baby mama, you see him with some Gucci on. So it's not like Gucci is um, irrelevant. But I think the conversation needs to be had because we are spending too much time trying to get the oppressor to accept us. I mean, mm -hmm. that's where we were in the 1960s and right. beyond, or before that, trying to get the oppressor to accept us. Like, who gives a rip if Gucci accepts us, accepts us or not? We shouldn't even be there. Like, there's a lot. Of, we all know some black designer somewhere that is struggling because we I ain't gonna buy that shit. That's where it costs too much. And you want me to pay you $25 for that shirt? Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you go get Gucci $900 for a blackface sweater, I mean, we won't, but somebody will, mm -hmm. you know? And then, um, let's see. Al says, there is, there is a baby person of the blackface sweater. Once your child has it on, you tickle them and Gucci, Gucci, you go, oh, corny. <laughs> Tay, he says, we need to be mindful of these European labels. Prada, Mon, uh, Montclair, I probably said Dolce. that all wrong because Dolce. Dolce and Gabbana, stop supporting these brands. I bet Chanel, uh, Michael Kors, and Louis Vuitton, see, I know those, has um, low-key the same issues too, and we are just waiting for um, them to come to light. Yeah, I mean... Well, uh, let me just speak on that. When I was in Vietnam, mm -hmm. in that little secured high-end area, the people that were in that hotel area, they were wearing some stuff that was like, it was like almost like they were in a club in their own. Right. You know, so it's like, hey, look, we got nigger shit on, so... And you know what, truth be told, a lot of those designers don't even want us wearing right. that stuff. Mm -hmm. They don't want rappers sagging with their Gucci belts on. I'm mm -hmm. sure, you know, I, 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 I don't know. I could be wrong, but, I mean, I wouldn't want that. And then uh, Dean says, a Madagascar has a measles outbreak um, out the blue, and they're telling them they have to get vaccinated. My question to you two is how do something like measles end then how um, how somehow comes back? Well, yeah, I mean, so you saying how does something like that end and then come back into existence? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, I mean, no, it, I, well, it's a good question, but you pretty much know the answer. It's, right. obvious, it's an yeah, obvious I mean, answer. How did the eradication of a certain species of people? How did people in Tuskegee, you know, right. uh, get uh, syphilis? Exactly. Exactly. You know, how did the Indians um, get smallpox? Yeah. In, in how the, did AIDS come about? Yes. In the United States, at the CDC, that's where they keep all the diseases and everything that they want. And every right. now and then, to control the population, they will let a 
then go out and uh, see how it works. Right. And then Tay says, FUBU is still um, huge mm. overseas since Samsung invested. Right. Yeah, um, a friend of mine on here, he said he's actually an investor um, with, uh, the, I guess, the FUBU brand. Now, excuse my ignorance, I just haven't seen it because I don't do a lot of shopping or mm -hmm. nor would I be looking for because I'm not like a real name brand type of person anyway. But my question is, so Samsung has invested. That What is Samsung? That's uh, Samsung's Korean. It's Korean, so it's mm -hmm. still not black owned completely. And so why did just kind of think about it? Why did Fubu need to get a a, a foreign investor? We got one point three trillion dollars over here in America. We wear clothes, don't we? Oprah's a so called billionaire. Yeah, but I'm saying we wear clothes. Yeah. Why not buy clothes um, that are made by black people? Well, it's kind of hard when you're conditioned to be a consumer. Right. Now, how many people too are during income taxes are going to go take that money to buy a Gucci purse? That income tax money, especially for the single black female who's head of household, they're going to take that money, get their nails done, get their hair, hair done, probably buy their kids some a nice pair of tennis shoes, and then they'll be broke by the first and selling pussy by the third. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just, that's pretty much how, how, how it runs down. I think I, I hit all the points there. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that third point. I ain't going to lie. I hope not. Uh, <laughs> Dwight says Jewish banks. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about them? And then the Jamel says, says mm -hmm. um, bingo, who respects a nation of fools who are not wise with their spending and was brought here um, as the first Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> We're brought as the first Gucci product. Think about it. <laughs> we support our colonizers to our device. You know what? <laughs> like if I wasn't on here, I'd have lost it with laughter. <laughs> yes. About the choke. <laughs> like that that picture is so vivid. Cause we were like Gucci products. I mean we are we were the first mer like big yes, thing. high ticketed item merchandise. Mm -hmm. If you truly think about it, I mean it's jacked up. But if that doesn't make it clear for you, I don't know what we well, well. But to your point, we continuously put money into their hands and they're like, I'm sorry. We, we won't sell that sweater even though we sold like 2,000 of them already. Yeah, already, exactly. Right, you know. Like secret society. I mean, you know, I think about it. The clan, <laughs> the, the, the Ku Klux Klan during their rallies, they need their little, you know, sponsorship shirts and that family reunion shirt. You never know. Gucci might be the designer of the robes. You, right. Who knows? Right. I wouldn't be shocked. And Marcus. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and think about this. Um, the Nazi party uh, <laughs> for those uniforms for the Germans that was designed by a high tech designer that still exists. I can't remember who it was, but yeah. you're right. Mm -hmm. And then Marcus says you have to understand that it's popular to have a racist background. Now it is the uh, the end thing for white people. Some whites it will destroy, and other whites it will build up. And for oh, all, God. it True. will definitely make money. Yeah, yep. all of this right. makes money. money. Like it's cute. That T.I. and whoever and them are saying, you know, let's boycott Gucci. It's like, well, Negro, y'all the ones that's putting all the money in their pocket. Everyday people like us ain't put doing that. Yeah. Every time you see us, you don't see us Gucci the out or whatever, unless it is something from the swap meet that says Gucci. Because, you know, that's another thing, Yeah, with too. one C. <laughs> Gucci. You know what I mean? There's a variation of it. We're, we're kind of smart with our money. That's another thing, too. A lot of people don't realize is rich people don't necessarily wear labels. Like, yeah. they won't say Gucci. Mm -hmm. We do that because I want you to know no, to think that I'm wearing this Gucci, just like having the purses with all the emblems on it. Oh gosh, yeah, I want NCM. everybody to know that I have this. I mean, the one of the most expensive Louis Vuitton purses I've seen personally didn't have Louis Vuitton on it. Right. It might have had it small somewhere, but it didn't have it plastered all over the everybody purse. And so, see, yeah, whenever you see that out, out there with that average person, you you know that's a fake. You're right. You well, just know. You just know. Hey, Eric, you said that's right about Teddy Pendergrass. Well, you mm -hmm. know, I, um. I um, was glad to know that. And that's another thing I was telling Al. I said, um, the minister, he, he moves in silence a lot. As oftentimes, you don't hear about him having interactions with um, celebrities or something until they're dead, you know? Yeah. And so he's not one to put it on blast. Hey, everybody, get, okay, get it on Instagram. And I'm getting ready to knock on Oprah's door, y'all. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and, and, actually, uh, and actually, you shouldn't. You didn't see Jesus Christ uh, do that either. True, yeah. but we didn't see Jesus Christ at all. Right. I'm just saying. Right. No, you're but I get right. your analogy. Yes, <laughs> right. yes, sir. 
Change. It says in 1921, it's Gucci startup. They got rid of the urban designers all to just jump on streetwear 15 years later. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, see, I didn't know that, but they've been around longer than FUBU, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, like most people will probably laugh at FUBU. Oh, that's something from the 90s. Oh, 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 that's outdated. Well, I mean, Whatever. I'm very sure know. if a lot of us go into our closets, you, you still got that Carl Kanai FUBU sweater or something in there. You know, that you just... I don't. You, you, you hold on to it. I don't. You know? I Cause it's gonna I come back in style. I wish I did. I dust it off and uh, you know expand it a little bit because well, I've grown. Well, well, the but, thing is, when we went to the uh, metro thing, that would have been you know the item to wear. <laughs> that was a nightclub. And Terrence, you say right. And Al says there are a lot of ratchet women here in Houston that will quickly give up their Gucci to any man. I, I, I'm way too <laughs> Gucci, Gucci, Slap. Gucci. Uh, and Eric says, hey, Miss Jackson, who you who you speaking to? <laughs> you talking to me? No. <laughs> How you doing? Uh -huh. Dwight says, Gucci is not doing anything. You are right about the reaction. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. just, we just overreact. I'm not saying we shouldn't be mad about Gucci um, doing what they did. But at the end of the day, are we gaining anything by this? I, I just think that we take too much time in, in showing our hands. Yeah, just say, F it. I'll just yeah. go spend my money with black designers. Exactly. I mean, that to me, nothing says F you. I think that's F you and something. Mm -hmm. Nothing says F you like going to take your money and putting it into your own community. Now, that's the ultimate F you. Well, Seriously. You know, so since we're talking about like how these people design and do do what they're doing and getting ahead, right now, there's a big debate. On the marijuana, Kamala Harris, all the politics and politicians are talking about it. The white people have their agenda. They want this thing to be pushed through. So mm -hmm. they're saying, this is our agenda. It better be. And now Kamala Harris is for marijuana. Of course. Now, on, on this show, my show, and other shows that I do, I have constantly told people to get on those apps, let's say like Stash and those ones you can get on your phone, invest. and invest in the thing while the money is low. While right. You can get it. And so if you haven't thought about it, Get on board now. Well, just loan me a few thousand dollars so I can go ahead and get on board. <laughs> well, I, well, I, well, well, I already told you we're 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 fifty fifty. Right, we are. Yeah, you just got to deliver your sister. I, I, I'm working on. Yeah, it. I'm working on. It. <laughs> and uh, so Eric says, "What up, Al?" And then James says, "Actually, they do give to Africa, but I agree to you." So, mm -hmm. well, I mean, that's cool if they do, you know. And so I probably shouldn't say they don't do anything, but mm -hmm. I mean, what about over here? How many Africans, not saying that there's not rich people in Africa, I know that they are, yeah, but are. I mean, yeah. you mostly see Gucci glorified, but then again, who am I? I don't know anything about fashion or much about it, not high-end fashion anyway. Mm -hmm. um, and then Tay says, the problem is that when black designers get shine, black folks won't shop or invest in that designer. Yeah, yeah. Like we, we, I hate to say it, Sad. but we do, we apply that, I ain't paying for that, mm -hmm. you want that kind of money? But let, you know, Jordan or anybody else drop a new something, then we go out and spend half of the rent to get the stuff just to, so people can say, ooh, are those the new? Oh, you, oh, you, oh, wow, those are nice. I saw some Walmart shoes for $8. I saw some Nikes that were the exact same shoe, except that the emblem was different. Upside down? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but you know, you know the whatever the Walmart yeah, image is, whatever right. it is. But it was the exact same shoe. Got it. And you will hear that Walmart got um, knockoff Jordans. Yeah, well, but you will see people, they want those, I would spend $100 versus the $8. I mean, it's crazy. Only thing I would say this about tennis shoes is, because I do a lot of walking, mm -hmm. I'm start back running, but I exercise a lot, so it's hard for me to just wear mm -hmm. um, a really cheap shoe because mm -hmm. it'll mess my knees up. Yeah, something. no, no, I understand but that. Trust but trust me, it'd be at the discount, but, please. But, but this was the exact same shoe. Got it. It was the exact same shoe. Got it. And Marcus, you say um, civil rights and the civil rights movement did not hurt us as far as integration goes, not um, finishing what was started and not building amongst our own business and services did. Um, everyone else need, let's see, you said did everyone else need is how we failed. We are 100% consumer based. Mm -hmm. We have no creativity outside of music and sports right. when it comes to marketing and sales. So you're absolutely right. Um, we are we are consumers. Everybody eats off of black people. Mm -hmm. Everybody, you yeah. name it, they every eat off of black people. Every culture's economic base is paid for by us. They come into our communities, they choke us out, beat us down, and we still patronize them. They have their own communities, and but their their community's economic base is based off their us. businesses in the black community. Yep. And we just 
It's sad, but it's true. So we need to change that. And then Terrence says, uh, 22 black, black um, brands. So you put a, a link mm -hmm. up. Okay, so there's 22 black brands. Say that 20 black times. Brands, yeah. Try to say it twice. 22 black brands. I said it. Yes. So we had to check that out in order to support. Um, because I, like I said, I don't spend a lot of money on clothes anyway. But if I did, I would love to be able to buy from a black designer. Well, you know, and not only cut you off, okay. but without all of that, well, well, I got to see what they're doing, or what you know, mm -hmm. this is exactly who they're working with, or you know, this mm -hmm. is not, you know, you know, leave them all because we don't do that to all the other designers. We just go and just buy. Yeah, we don't say, well, okay, what is your um, mission statement? What yeah. is your, you know? <laughs> yeah, because look, like I said, that designer that uh, that uh, designed the clothes for the Nazis, nobody, he's, they're still in business to this day. Right. Nobody's questioning them. And we probably all wearing all wearing label, this stuff. label. What you got? Yeah, on. I got it. <laughs> but uh, you know, but, but speaking of uh, sharing with each other, I'll give you guys a good example. Um, check out Facebook page Shante Stella and dot style divas uh, uh, valentine's is coming up you're looking for a, a nice gift better go over there and check it out black owned check it out yes yeah better hurry up valentine's day is what 14th that's wednesday yeah wednesday right? i have no idea mm -hmm. okay al uh that's a hint and speaking <laughs> of al he says so it's safe to say now gucci is guilty Forget Gucci and go buy Juicy Couture. No, I don't know who makes Juicy Couture either, but I'm is. quite sure they are not black owned. Mm -hmm. And then you say also, I just saw that Joel Osteen has a clothing brand called In Sheep's Clothing. Your ass <laughs> is stupid. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, my God. That yeah. was actually a good one, Al. It was. And Jay says, and believe me, I'm good. Believe me, this is going to change a narrative. Fuck Gucci. Mm. I'm just saying, if they are truly sorry, pay for your mistakes, because no matter what happens, uh, blacks are still going to support me. I have a closet with Gucci, but I'm good on it. I'm not burning it. <laughs> <laughs> I will donate it to the homeless downtown here. Well, you know what? You already paid for it. So, I mean. Yeah, I mean, what, what, you already got it. You got it. Yeah, I mean, I, listen, I'll just say this. I don't care if people black boycott Gucci or not. I wouldn't suggest you burn it or hell, I wouldn't even suggest you give it away. I mean, it's yours, you paid for it. You weren't saying that about the NFL. <laughs> D was outside. He already bought the stuff. Right. D was outside the stadium with her sign. That's right. You in a bed. Yeah, it reminds me of that episode of Good Times when Thelma with eBay and then Oh you know? no. No, but I'm just saying you've already bought it, so why yeah. why destroy it once you yeah. wear it? I mean it's yours. Yes, yeah, your value. Um now would you buy it in the future? I mean, that's up to mm -hmm. you, but I think and I'm not saying you don't, but we should start looking into the other designers who are like us. Absolutely. And then uh Jonelle says Gucci is clearly catering to its true customer base. We got to fight against our own slave brains thinking that um, the white people brands is greater than grandma sewing kit um, mm. and our creative designs. Patches? You know what? <laughs> he didn't say nothing about no damn patches. <laughs> that was a very popular song talking about exactly. Yes. Um, uh, uh, and our creative designs <laughs> that all copy. Yes. yes. And you know what? That's another thing too. We as black people, I'm going to say black women because I mm. am one. We need to learn how to sew. I used to know how to sew. I'm just waiting for a sewing machine. Yeah, I'm dying. I'm gonna sewing machine right up there. And then she let me have it. No. I'm just... no. <laughs> she, she, she made all these drapes yeah. and all that when yeah, I had them on. Wait, wait. Remember those sewing machines where you had to, they had to do the wheel? Yeah. yeah. Put the foot down there. Yeah. 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 But we need to learn how to do that again. You know. And if you know how to sew, believe it or not, doing alterations that's a lucrative Heck yeah, business. We still need people like it. You see people walking Bro. around with their hands scraping yeah. the ground it's like, damn, you don't have nobody right. to hem it for you? Right. Uh, you know? If, if you're by a military base and you can do alterations, putting on those patches and stuff, oh my gosh, oh, that's a lucrative shoot, business. I like multiple streams of income. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give me a sewing machine. I'm going to be... I'm telling you. I'm telling sewing. you. Sewing? Yeah. You know, Absolutely, sewing. but that's a great idea, John. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the wife says, Donovan, in excrement, he said, in, mm -hmm. I think it means, uh, oh, this food... <laughs> He's trying to say nigga shit, y'all. Uh, okay, you got you, got you, got you. Y'all, y'all in rare form today. Yes. What are you talking about? You are grown. I don't have any idea because we probably talk so mm, long. Mm -hmm. uh, Minty, what's happening? He says, um, are you aware that owners of Red Cups and Hennessy are white people? Law, is he not? <laughs> oh, wow. Y'all clowning. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. And, in that, and in that cup, you got the Zizira? Is that what they call it? The Zizir. 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 Scissor. 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 Got it. Got you it. wild <laughs> den. 
So what you saying? Because <laughs> that I'm, I'm not gonna speak for you, but I know where you're going yes, with this. <laughs> yes, yes. And Tay says, "Fubu died with LL Cool J stopped repping the brand." Yeah, because yeah. he was their what their um, go to guy, their model or mm-hmm. spokesperson for it. Like that, you know what? I, I believe you're right. Yep, yep. Where did he go now? Where did he go after that? Is he is he wearing Gucci? To Hollywood. He went to Hollywood. Dwight says, Donovan, be nice about our people. You are too smart. I mean, something <laughs> crazy you said. Um, and, and, oh, I know why. Because you said that about the... Uh, what did you say? Buy some shoes, then be on the third day. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're buying all the... You got your hair, your nails done, and by the third day, you're hungry. You know? <laughs> On the block, the shot of money. Al says Donovan is the newest, fattiest. <laughs> <laughs> James says ninety two was when Samsung invested in Fubu startup. So yes. wow, so it's pretty much always um, not completely black on if I if that mm-hmm. if I'm reading that right. And Tay says Donovan isn't wrong. We are so materialistic and brand focused. We need to invest in ourselves and out um, in our community. But we see big names and wear them to feel important. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And then Jay says, FYI, Hugo Boss was the designer of yes, the Nazi. Yes, the Nazi. Okay. Hugo Boss, that's a good And Hugo, Hugo Boss. Boss is doing well. Very well. Very I mean, well. How, many, how many people have Hugo Boss cologne? Mm-hmm. Not Donovan. He has high karate. He's like, yeah, I, yeah, I got high karate. That kind of stuff. Uh, and then Tay says, uh, thank you, James. I couldn't remember the label, which label it was. Mm-hmm. Yes, thank you. Hugo Boss. And mm-hmm. the Hugo Boss is like huge. huge. Internationally, too. Right. And then... Um, Dwight says Marcus is a hundred percent right as usual, mm-hmm. and Jonelle says if we don't know, uh, but now we are mentally by now we are mentally dead. Whites and others don't make an investment in us unless they see a profit. It's about revenue. They got a demand for that black face, and if let's see, oops, and if they do, if they not, uh, let's see, if they're not selling it. In our face, they're behind the scenes selling it at a high price like Nat Turner's skin. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, why would they make it if nobody wanted it? Damn. You know, somebody was like, hey, you know, I want the ski sweater and just kind of like for novelty, make the lips red. Mm-hmm. I mean, somebody wanted that. And Jonelle says also, the minister have helped so many under the cover of darkness where they could be comfortable. Obama, a prime example. Yeah, he, after Obama left, he says, by the way. By the way. Me and Obama was cool. And they uh, say, well, Fashion Week has begun, and there are urban elements to the lines that I have seen. They love our money, but hate us. Yes. If we stop buying those brands, um, that's the bigger FU. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, it's just like well, what we're asking of these uh, candidates. We want tangibles. Right. If you ain't got well, you, uh, an agenda for us, you ain't getting our votes. Correct. And James also says, well... Um, uh, well, this is good PR for us as blacks to get educated and start our own design. We do have some. There's a few off-white, fear of God, black, um, popular, high-end. You know what? I didn't know off-white was um, black-owned because I've seen um, mm-hmm. a, a, a few black um, celebrities were, but I didn't know they were um, black-owned. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Which kind of makes sense now, mm-hmm. off-white. <laughs> I guess if that's what they, where they're going with that. Um, and then Daryl was having says, I'm a staunch supporter of recycling black dollars. Went yesterday mm-hmm. to an event showcasing the talents of black entrepreneurs. Mostly women enjoyed that experience. You know what? You and me both. I try to shop black as much as I can. Yes. And you know, being out here where we are in the Inland Empire, there's not a whole lot of black. Yeah, blacks are leaving. Yeah, there's They're not a lot of there. black anything out here. So when we get a chance to do that, um, and I, I buy stuff online too, and you know, from different mm-hmm. people. So yes, we should just... I know it's kind of hard right now, but imagine if we just do it more often, more black people can start businesses, you know? And Dean says, what do you think about Umar's school? Yes. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm glad somebody brought that up. For what it appears, Dr. Umar Johnson, who has um, raised a lot of money for the black community in the hopes of starting a black school for boys, has purchased a school. Um, and that's been under the scrutiny for, of a lot of people saying, oh, he just scammed everybody, he took their money, but he did a video of taking a tour of the school and saying what it's going to be about and that's getting ready to open. So I think that is awesome because we need more black schools, plain and simple. And so Mm -hmm. um, kudos to him and F the haters. I'm just playing. (laughs) And Tay says, pay attention to the uh, designers at Black Fashion Week in New York. I'm looking for the one in LA. Um, Are you going to that? That would be interesting to go. I'll be in there in my... um, Are they having Slut Walk after that? Slut Walk, really? Yeah, because I want to go to that. (laughs) 
I don't even think they're related, okay? Okay, because usually, you know, that's like right behind. Yeah, hey, Abdullah, he says, oh, shit, Demetri K got a natural fro, natural yup, in my Spanish voice. <laughs> well, you know, my hair has always been, well, hey, I'm lying. I'm about to lie to kick it. Um, <laughs> I've been natural for quite a while wow. now. Mm -hmm. About, gosh, Four, almost, no, nah, it's been longer than that. Mm -hmm. Probably going on eight, nine Ladies, years Yeah, yeah that I've been while. natural. I and mean, I was natural before that, but you know, I got the crack in my head, the creamy crack. But now, you know, I, I've been natural. Um, as being a vegan, not to digress or get off topic, but as being a vegan, I can't do, um, put Good natural product. stuff in my body and then put uh, unnatural stuff on my body. And that goes from, now I'm going to give you guys my personal hygiene. Yeah, yeah. Um, from mm -hmm. my hair products to my toothpaste, I use um, activated charcoal. Oh, I use that too. Uh, do you? Yeah. You would lie. I do. I do. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> we got you um, Activated charcoal. Um, for my tooth uh, mm -hmm. brush, I use uh, my toothbrush is a bamboo toothbrush. Mm -hmm. Don't uh, do the plastic thing because it's hard for the plastic to break down. Mm -hmm. I also use a crystal for deodorant. Sometimes you might smell me because you know, I'm just playing. Like, <laughs> I lost my sense of smell. So uh, I, I like I don't put the most unnatural thing I put on is uh, perfume. That and I'm working on that. What was natural? Um, mint leaves or something. Yeah, I don't know. Something. But anyway, so thank you. Uh, and then Jonelle says we got um, so upset because we are uh, we we are full so hard. And anybody waking up from a sunken place is piss. Mm -hmm. I think maybe <laughs> I don't know if that's what you meant. Even a child waking up to lie um, to the lie of Santa Claus is pissed off. I say you meant pissed, mm -hmm. not that we are pissed. Yeah. Uh, pissed off. We just need to. Face reality and let's see, value our own. Uh, Bob Marley has shoes and clothes for years, and Master P got some nice shoes out. Hopefully, mm -hmm. we will now drop the skinny jeans <laughs> and other white corny styles to support our own. Yes, mm -hmm. we just need to keep getting the message out. Support our own. Buy black. Let's stop focusing on Gucci, who probably never even designed any of that for us anyway. Mm -hmm. So, so basically, you're saying we need to start. At, at the home level, re-educating our kids how to think. We got to. It's, I mean, well, because if we don't educate our kids and they go out into the world, into school mm -hmm. and get educated that way opposed to us saying, listen, child, this is the way it is, you know. So, yeah, we need to do that first. But good point. And Dwight says, we are descendants of slaves and integration was the new freedom. We are not changing that because integration means jobs at factories, hospitals, beauty shops, funeral homes, and barbers. Um, no more grocers, dress shops, and, or restaurants. But let me push back a little bit, Dwight. Why can't we make those things? Why can't we have hospitals, factories? And, I mean, we have beauty shops and we have funeral homes. I know that. And barbers. Why can't we have those things opposed to saying, give me a job. Give me a job. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's, it's not. Everybody it's not, else comes here. Builds yeah, their own they build their own. They don't necessarily need jobs from other people because they can go to their friend or their family member. <laughs> family business. Yeah. Family business. No you higher. know what I'm saying? No higher. And keep the money in the family. So there's no reason why we can't do that. Mm -hmm. We just become dependent and that's that mindset. We become so dependent on, I can't make it unless the white man is feeding me. Or I'm on assistance. Matter of fact, the government shutdown is looming. Yes. We got another the potential, another government shutdown coming. Was it Wednesday, Thursday? Wednesday, yeah. The 15th, Thursday, Thursday. another mm -hmm. potential government shutdown. Did we learn any Did lessons learn from the last anything? time? Did any of these chicks get out there, these people that are on the system, and go look for jobs? Or anybody who job. had a government a job, job who complained about not having um, money to take care of themselves. Did we learn lessons? Did they get these big old checks and spend it as normal? Did they say, hey, I'm going to hold on to this because we do have another shutdown coming potentially in three weeks. Mm -hmm. And then Jonelle says, made in Mexico, deport the clothes. Right, yeah, that... <laughs> Please, they ain't gonna do that. Mm. The poor everything but the clothes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jay says, I wish I could have been on the show. I got a mouthful. We make everything hot, and they use us to get the inspiration. Absolutely, I don't care what nobody says. I'm gonna back up um, James's point. I don't care what nobody says. Black people give everything the cool factor. Yes, it ain't cool until we touch it. That's right. You see, you see that sweater bell that, yes. wearing, that my niece That's made. black owned. Ooh. That's black, black made. Owned. That's right. Exactly. Yeah, but it ain't cool until we touch it. Then everybody want to get up on it and duplicate it and steal it mm -hmm. and all that. But yes, we make everything hot and we just need to realize that. It tastes like Juicy Couture is owned by my Gala Nash Taylor and she's white. Mm. Okay, so okay. Juicy Couture is white owned. 
Um, and James says, Hugo Boss is the designer of the Nazi uniform. Yes, see? Hugo Boss. And then Marcus mm -hmm. says, the average black person in America has no idea what is working against them and how hard it is working against them. We go hard on Facebook and social media when we see Newsweek or news, Newsweek.org. The basketball wives. <laughs> That's you. Mm -hmm. um, we are ignorant to the efforts that Russia, China, and the European in effect, um, in effort to... And in an effort to control us and keep us ignorant and out of the loop. Yeah, we just, because I watched something today on um, YouTube. I was uh, a bunch of snippets put together. Malcolm X um, really admonishing women to get out of the television, to stop watching television, to start reading books and getting um, well uh, versed on what's going on um. with us in order to. Well, for a lot of things, but one was to have a good conversation with your husband. Say, he don't want, your husband don't want to come over here about what your good girlfriend said and, you know, the kids don't do that. The other move. They want to be able to have a spirit conversation with mm -hmm. you about things that matter. And so where we're going. Yes. Yeah, so to your point, Marcus, we need to turn off the television more often. It is said that black people watch on average about 73 hours of television a week. That's ridiculous. That's almost working a double 40 hour week. Sitting and watching and television. And wasting your life. Now, now, you're just wasting your life. Think about that. You're doing absolutely nothing. Nothing. Not se like 73 hours. You know what you mm -hmm. can do with 73 mm -hmm. hours? Some people just wish they had mm -hmm. three hours. And then add another 40 hours of sleep if you sleep the eight hours. Well, you probably ain't because you're sitting up there watching TV mm -hmm. all day. But, that, you know, but you add that up, that's just a waste of life. You're just... Vegetating. You're just vegetating. <laughs> I mean, that's what, yeah. that's what I, because I don't do that. Yeah. So I'm no shade to anybody who watches yeah, TV, yeah. but it's just food for thought. And Al says, hey, Donovan, in that EP of Good Times, episode of Good Times, mm -hmm. when Thelma was protesting with eBay, the school dean seemed like he was <laughs> on the other side, playing for the other team. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and he was at first. He, he wanted to, like, tell them, like, you know, bow down and, you know, work within the system. And Thelma was like, nah, screw that. Got it. And speaking of too much TV, mm -hmm. you and Al watch too much TV, okay? <laughs> and Tay says, FYI, Child of Gambino won a Grammy for a This Is America video. All right. Okay, well, right on. That was a great, great video. video. But if you guys also know the backstory, which my daughter was mm -hmm. in here because she keeps me abreast of all this stuff. Apparently, a lot of rappers have um, declined to perform at the Grammys because they said this is not really for us. You guys put us in categories that you will yeah. never really win. Yeah. And, I, and I, so Childish Gambino was one of them who mm -hmm. declined to perform. Yeah, I, I, I've said this for a long time, since the 90s. That's when I stopped watching these shows, uh, especially the award shows. It's for pimps and hoes. You know, oh, yeah. It, 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 it's meaningless. Right. You know, at the end of the day. Right. Know, so I and, stopped watching them. And James says, LVHM, I don't know what that means. It says, Louis Vuitton, Hennessy, Moet. Mm. Oh, there. I, don't, I said LVHM. I don't know what that means. And then I read yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Um, I, I guess that's what we consider classy. That's, I made it. I've tasted Moet before and I'm like, ew. This is what people rant and rave. This is disgusting. That's it. So um, RC Cola. RC Cola. I love Can't it. go wrong with some yeah. RC. RC. RC Cola. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then Tay says, this is his third Grammy for that song. Yeah, it was a great song. And you know the cold part about this? Because I love Childish Gambino. Mm -hmm. And part of it was forced on me because my daughter is a big fan. She's mm -hmm. been like two or three of his concerts and stuff. I steal her t-shirts to wear. Mm -hmm. The part that disturbs me about Ch Childish Gambino and that video, that man, okay, he's with a white woman. Mm -hmm. All right. <gasps> right. Out of all the things he could have made, he made a song highlighting the ills of black people in America and we tore this man down. Exactly. Um, Not us. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm just trying to get in the arguments. Y'all know who did it. And I hate with a white woman. I hate can't speak for black people. That's black women every time. See, I didn't every, say that. Every See, time. You, every time. You said I didn't yeah, say well, well, I'm just pointing out facts. Uh, Kamala Harris is married to a white man. Silence. Crickets. You know, I mean, it, you know, like I said, she can marry whoever she wants, but we don't, as men, we don't make a big deal about that. You go ahead and do you. That's what you want to do. A black man does it. Oh my God, it's the end of the world. You can't, you can't vote for him. But for those that don't know, when the Childish Gambino video was made, check out uh, Demetra's YouTube page. She actually did a video with Childish Gambino, part of the video. In there. Oh, I did, huh? You did. And then James says, I love the show. Well, right, if you're speaking of you. us, we love you yes. too. Yes. 
And Al says, and LL died when started, when, and LL died when started acting. And so I think he said his career, he died when started acting. Yeah, his Not rapping on. career. Well, his uh, acting career is okay, it's, but LL is known to be the longest yeah, sustained, sus rapper. sustained rapper in the history of rap. Right. Just a fact. And, uh, and so Janelle says, sewing is great skill to have. The minister got the sisters learning every mm -hmm. aspect of it here in the nation, even how to repair the machines. Yes. I know that's yes. right. I'm Gosh, telling you, man. that is a lucrative business. And uh, before we go, uh, we got about five minutes left. To uh, Black history, LL Cool J. What about him? What is he? He he's the the first brother ever to survive a movie till the very end. <laughs> you know what? There's something wrong with you, okay? Uh, uh, and then James says the reason why the show is good is because the dialogue is getting um, out here. You guys should go to L.A. Fashion Week. We should. We should. You Absolutely. dust off your um, stuff, and I dust off my um, Goodwill black dress. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! You know, wait, 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 wait! You know, I still got my Z Cabaricis. Uh, wow. <laughs> no, I ain't got those. No, I can't wow. pick those. No. Wow. But, you knew, but, but you knew what I was talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're going to be like, y'all yeah, yeah, can't come. Yeah, remember, because it's supposed to be bad even now. It's all tight. Right. <laughs> it's all good. It's going to be skinny jeans now, okay? And uh, But we should. Okay. Uh, our right. says, how come Matumbo and LeBron seem to be the only NBA players to help black people opening up schools? Well, um, uh, Matumbo, being of African descent, that was his whole mission coming to America to right. bring him here. So. And which is what a lot of them do. They're right. like, I'm going to get the money and I'm going to go back yeah. home yeah. and build. And build. So right. absolutely. And Janelle says, our solution is rooted in our self-love and doing for ourselves, thus providing our own needs. The more we don't wait on Jesus to return and move in unity, doing for self, the God within us will... Um, We'll make us successful and uh, we shall rise and this will be done. I mean, mm -hmm. and for those of you guys on the podcast, we're going to be leaving out of here in about two minutes. And so if I don't get to say goodbye to you, goodbye, I will see or you will hear from me next week. If you have any comments, questions or concerns, please feel free to leave them um, as we are still trying to figure out how to get these comments because <laughs> we got in trouble by. Uh, yeah, Mr. we did. Lassie. We sure did. And Al says, my cologne game is impeccable, fellas. Hugo Boss, the scent of Hugo Boss, tonic. Our nice buys. Like after we said Hugo Boss is making Nazi uniforms. <laughs> but you smell good though, baby. You That's smell it. good. That's it. Uh and, and Dwight says natural is boy natural is boiled fresh lavender and hibiscus. Mm. I knew of a woman who used that as perfume research and verified. Thank you, cause I love homemade stuff. So I will research that. Um and Jonelle says nothing in nature, God made. And nothing, nothing in nature. God made nothing in nature to in, uh, integrate with its enemy. Why well, think it's wise to integrate with your enemy and those who don't love us? Be wise. I mean, mm -hmm. just think about it. And Dwight says, before the great uh, migration, we were independent uh, contractors, but Jim Crow re uh, refrained um, us from the institutions in banking and real estate integration. Mm -hmm. And civil rights opened up some uh, opportunities. Jackie Robinson versus Negro League, the market. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I mean, it did, but overall, I mean, let's be honest, integration hurt us. Yes, it did. We fell for, as they say, the white man's ice is colder than ours, and we just stopped dealing with us, our people all together. Well, shoot, they didn't want us to have it, and now they opened the door up for us to get it, so I'm going to go get it. That that really hurt us. I mean, let's just keep it real. And James says, we are programmed to work for um, a, um, other, and others are programmed to own. I am teaching my baby son to be self-reliant and to be a boss. I own my own trucking business, but started off in fashion design. Well, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying. And I love how you said your baby, because there's never, it, it's never too early to start teaching your kids that kind of stuff. Never. They, I mean, they're going to learn it somehow. Otherwise, they'll go to school and learn, well, you can too, you too, Johnny, can be a janitor. Yeah. If you just apply yourself. Right. You too can go get a good job for <laughs> ABC, you know, corporation if you just pass the aptitude and test. And if you really think about it, that's what they're teaching our kids. Go Absolutely. get a job. Go get a job. Go get a Work job. For somebody. Teach your kids to be self-sufficient. And, um... Marcus says the new uh, black power movement is a non-starter. The black business owner empowerment thing is also a non-starter. However, many attempts we make uh, to get into the global market will still travel in all European markets giving away our black dollars. Absolutely. Like I have never been overseas overseas, but the next time I do go overseas, I want to go to the motherland. Like I have no desire at all to go to Europe. Mm. It just seems drab. Hmm. And I'll leave it at that. 
the uh, way says, congratulations <laughs> to the artist for Childish Gambino. Oh, absolutely. Yes. I mean, I, I like Childish Gambino. I mean, he's um, doing some... Um, if you ever listen to his music, it's not, you know, on, on the silliness. It's really enlightening. And so, again, This Is America was for us, and we just... We tore him down for it. It's kind of like, golly, we just don't want nothing for us, huh? At Black all. women just... Mm. You said it. The wife says, you are right about Donovan talking about good times, watching TV self. <laughs> and Al, too, and you also say, what is uh, a pimp and a hoe? Those are entertainers, rappers uh, at the Super Bowl. <laughs> Yes, I guess. Oh my gosh, I was so embarrassed. You know, you know, I saw some of the clips of that. Uh, I didn't watch any of the artists. Artists. Did you watch? Huh? Well, I saw it on YouTube. Oh god, some it. of the clips that uh, the artists that performed. Uh, yeah, I heard it was kind of off. It was uh, terrible. Ja and then uh, the, uh, the wife said Donovan is off the hook as usual. <laughs> Al Jack joke of the day. Okay, I gotta read this first before I read it to y'all. <laughs> She's censoring you, Al. She's censoring. Demetra does believe in censorship. Al's that joke of the day. He says, my son and his girlfriend in a heated argument. Girlfriend, I'm coming to you as a woman. My son, well, I'm going to ignore you like a baby daddy. That is so awful. And Jonelle says, buy something black and support a black business ASAP. Yes, like right now, today, as soon as possible. <laughs> Just do it. Don't question it. Don't say, well, I need to see what you're doing, how much money you got to what you're going to do with this money, and you know, I just need to make sure that I don't do all of that. Just do it. Marcus says, and the most disturbing thing is that is the fact that we have so many intelligent people who made valid and powerful points, but we don't have the same people on the front line giving direction mm -hmm. to how uh, we achieve those points and goals. Well, you know, I think we do have a lot of people on the front line um, giving directions on how we uh, we achieve those things. I think really kind of to the point of Childish Gambino, we spend a lot of time tearing them down. We spend a lot of time pinpointing their flaws. Oh, well, you know, he's saying some good things, but, you know, I don't like the way he said it or he did this. And then I heard he did that. But it's like, but is the message something we need? Mm. Is the message going to help us? Or are we just, you know, like we can never be satisfied, you know? And then Al says, her just want to grab me. You know what? I just actually started listening to her stuff and she's pretty good. She's 21 year old. Um. Uh, I, I don't know, I guess R&B artist. She's really good. I mean, her music is really, I mean, she's really good. So I'm trying to branch out from the things that I'm, I'm used to listening to because I don't like a lot of the stuff out there, but yes, her, um, um, I like her stuff. And so anyway, I don't see any more comments on here. Um, I will read them as they come up. Um, and so in parting, I would just like to say um, a huge thank you to Donovan for being um, the man behind <laughs> and in front of the curtain, making right. all of this um, happen. I'm also like to say thank you to you guys on Facebook for making this dialogue <laughs> happen because without you, we could not do this. Also, thank you to Marcus, Marcus Guyton who makes the message go choop, all over the place like feathers yes. in the wind. They just go all over. So we thank him. And we got to thank Alex for the theme, theme thank music. Thank Alex Jones. I don't see him on here, but um, we have been putting his music on the videos on YouTube to help get his Music out there, supporting black people, um, mm -hmm. black artists. Um, this is what we love to do. Also, um, to Shantae, who has a business. Give that that again. That's going to be um, on Facebook, Shantae's Stella and on, Dot Style Divas. So on Facebook, Shantae Stella and Dot Stella and, and Dot Style Divas. Style Divas. If you're looking for jewelry and um, other and things, if, yeah, and if Shantae's still uh, listening, she can send the link. Yes, uh, yeah. send the link, and um, people who are interested will go on there. And so, yeah. yes, we. Um, We'll do our best to support other people as you guys support us every Sunday. And Al says, love, peace, um, and grease in that fro. Absolutely. <laughs> you know I got to have some grease in here now. All right. And so, uh, once again, it's been our pleasure. We thank you so much. Please. Um, I know it's freezing out. There's freezing out here, believe it or not, mm -hmm. in Southern California. Stay warm. Get something good to eat, like some good homemade soup or something. Put the red beans on. Put red beans or navy beans if you're Muslim. Mm -hmm. Navy beans. Yep. Right. And you guys do have a great rest of the day. Peace. Peace. You a bag lady like Eric like Rick Badu. Like Rick Badu. Every problem is divided, Every problem by, divided you. by you. You a bag lady like Eric like Rick Badu. Like Eric Rick Badu. Every problem is divided by you.
appreciate all the little things that you do. That you do. You a bag lady like Erica Badu. Erica Badu. If we kicking it, I'm like Ken, and she right you, and she right you. Every problem is divided by you. You, you. I appreciate all the little things that you do. That you do. You a bag lady like Erica Badu. Erica Badu. If we kicking it, I'm like Ken, and she right you, and she right you. Every problem is divided by you. You. My mother so special, the world couldn't test you. If you ever sneeze, God himself will say bless you. You got skyscraping bills, like I'ma get on top of this. I'm rapping Gotham City, but I'm trying to get you metropolis. I relish all the moments they can't catch up. Back when I was young, you always told me to clean my mess up. I fess up, even in the dark. You are my shining light. You rather a female to play me left than to leave me dead, right? I appreciate all the little things that you do. That you do. You a bag lady like Erica Badu. Erica Badu. If we kicking it, I'm like Ken, and she right you, and she right you. Every problem is divided by you. Do by you. I appreciate all the little things that you do. That you do. You a bag lady like Erica Badu. Erica Badu. If we kicking it, I'm like Ken, and she right you, and she right you. Every problem is divided by you. You by you. I appreciate all the little things that you do. That you do. You a bag lady like Erica Badu. Erica Badu. If we kicking it, I'm like Ken, and she right you, and she right you. Every problem is divided by you. You like the dance movie. Your father didn't step up. We will be the first to break our demographic setup. I'm trying to ball like you. I'm D Will, so get my net up. You say I have a good crew, so I'm hanging with my sweaters. You worked hard for that small change. I'm trying to get you that black range, Rover. I won't stop until it's over. People steady tweaking, I'm always over. I'm your son, like a supernova. They can handle me like a crossover, and I finally crossed over to greatness. I appreciate all the little things that you do. That you do. You a bag lady like Erica Badu. Erica Badu. If we kicking it, I'm like Ken, and she right you, and she right you. Every problem is divided by you. You by you. I appreciate all the little things that you do. That you do. You a bag lady like Erica Badu. Erica Badu. If we kicking it, I'm like Ken, and she right you, and she right you. Every problem is divided by you. You by you. I appreciate all the little things that you do. That you do. You a bag lady like Erica Badu. Erica Badu. If we kicking it, I'm like Ken, and she right you, and she right you. Every problem is divided by you. You by you.